Hello there YouTube, thought I'd do a little update on my uh, Sportster and working on it here and there and everywhere as much as uh, you have time and money I guess, always costs something but um, lately quite a bit I've been driving mainly single as to why I have the the Para bare bone seat which is, is great uh, definitely look over, what is that, fit over form, look over use sorry not too sure um it, it doesn't really seat you firmly in the in the position very strongly for lots of wind or without a uh, uh, windshield to kind of fight the wind a bit but it definitely looks awesome the other reason i have half kind of the sissy bar um, brackets on is because i've been doing some double riding lately and in another couple of weeks or another weekend we're gonna go for a nice long cruise with my wife, so that's gonna stay on there. It's just a little easier than uh, to take that off. Uh, so in the meantime, it's staying. Um, I think the biggest change on my bike that I've liked, uh, I've wanted to do for the longest and I like the most is I finally got rid of the customizer, which just sits right here. It used to be a six inch um, riser that would kind of come over the tank with the speedo right in it. And it just just looked very awkward, especially for um, kind of the apes look or a, a bigger bar look. I think it would be the customizer is okay. I think on drag bars or just the normal bars, um, but anything else, it just doesn't go with the contour of the bike very well. So I just love having the nice one and a half inch risers, just nice and slow or small. And I kind of fitted a speedo old old sporties speedo housing and just kind of fab that all together so that worked really nice thanks to a local uh, bike shop Simcoe Ontario where I'm from so BS Customs awesome guy to deal with um, and then yeah the handlebars I said those are the 12 inch chrome works which yeah I really like I like the position of them at uh, 12 inches I'm not too sure if they're called minis anymore or if apes are 14 and plus I'm not too sure but so yeah uh like the bars and the position they have and just i think it just adds to the look of the bike quite a bit uh what else oh yes the uh 12 inch are still it's my hands are still sitting lower than my shoulders so for blood flow and that it definitely helps makes riding a little easier and it's yeah doesn't hurt anyway um i've also just recently did the whole uh chrome hand controls uh and the buttons and all that I got a used pair off a guy and so they were a lot of fun same with the braided cables um, just looks so much cleaner on the on the bike I believe anyway I'm not too sure about the grips I might change out to my normal I had a pair of blue Avon coke bottles which I thought were beautiful and unique so I like them a lot uh, I don't have the throttle cables on for some reason the throttle cables were not long enough. They were like a quarter inch too tight. And so yeah, I thought it was weird. I bought the used hand controls and braided cables and all that off a guy with a newer soft tail. And for some reason, they were just so tight. About a good quarter inch, I would say, that they was too tight. So I've seen other people have suggested you can back off the idle mixture, or idle screw all the way, maybe to give you enough. I just didn't want to fool around with that at this point. Um, just because I was just more concerned about getting the idle back to where it needs to be as the Sportsters are air cooled and I didn't want to run it too low of an RPM that is just choking out the motor and not lubing it enough so that's why I haven't installed those yet. Also because it was a soft tail the wiring harness for the the blinkers and all the controls underneath the tank they're all hid uh, were a each side was I think an eight compared to my six so that was a big bummer. I thought maybe it'd just connect right in, but hey, who knows? The year and the bikes are different. So uh, so that made me step up and do a future mod that I wasn't quite ready to do at this point, uh, but I had to do it anyway, was do the internal wiring. So I internal wired all the bars, not the tightest right underneath, but it's gonna have to work for now. Um, oh, it makes it so much cleaner. It was a pile, pain in the butt, but it worked out and I think yeah it just looks so much better so much cleaner 
The other thing was uh, the signals versus mirrors. I kept my signal lights up higher because that's just where I like it. I think it looks more of the mini ape look, having up high. Um, so I left them up there. So right now, since it was a soft tail that had no spot for signal lights up there, I used the mirror holder, the mirror br er, little hole, I guess, where you put the mirrors on. So I just put the, the signals on there for now, and that's why I have this weird looking mirror on the ends. So that's definitely not staying. I've ordered a clamp to put on the handlebars for my mirror, mirror or mirrors, one or two. So that's why I've kind of made that choice. Um, other than that, that's about it that I've done recently, like the old um, videos that I've explained that I did lower it a good inch. Um, I could lower it two inches if I was just doing single riding, but with the wife on that just gets a little too close. You hear it rubbing once in a while. Um, I did the coil relocation, the ignition relocation is down with a nice little shotgun key. Um, I put my coil underneath the cowbell again, so uh, I kept the chrome. It looks, I think, nice and clean. And I did raise the tank like an inch and maybe a good quarter or whatnot, so that's why you kind of see a nice gap and it's just, uh, just such a beautiful stance, I think, um, with the bigger 4.5 gallon tank. Um, I did the wire tuck underneath. I already uh, stated and I flattened the license plate, which I would like to get a better holder because it just uh, it looks kind of funky right now. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically about it. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll take another uh, video of the exhaust. I might mod the baffles out in a future time. But that's it. Thanks for watching.